This is the Godin Radiator. This guitar came into the studio the other day and I had never seen one before. Now anyone that knows me knows that I'm a big fan of all of the acoustics that fall under the Godin umbrella. The Simon and Patrick's, the Seagulls, the Arden Luther's, all fantastic guitars. But this is probably the first hard body Godin uh, electric that I've seen that caught my eye. It's got style that's more reminiscent of a vintage jukebox or a muscle car than a guitar. It's got really cool detailing. It's got weird saddles in the tailpiece that look like they're flipped sideways with weird spaces in them. Uh, it's got... Uh, this guitar has a thick neck and I typically like thinner necks, uh, thin wide, but this is one of those little fatter necks. Quality components on the guitar cool look. You know, I like the way the emblems are made of metal and bolted to the body. I like how the pickups look more like the grill out of a 69 Charger than a, than a guitar pickup. All the detailing on this guitar is really sharp. Now, I really didn't expect much as far as sound is concerned because uh, this guitar uh, under the pick guard or that whole faceplate it's all pretty much all routed out under there. There isn't a lot of wood, so I didn't expect a, a, gr a great sound from it. And that's done so that you can change that whole faceplate with all the components uh, attached to a new faceplate. So you just unbolt all around the outside and, and one line and change out for a complete color change, which is really cool. So like I said, I didn't expect much from the sound of this, but turns out when I put it on, it was very comfortable and it has a very warm sound uh, when you're playing it clean and there's something about the sound of that guitar when you click in the overdrive that's really cool it's got a bite to it um, and again I, I didn't really have much expectation for the guitar and I'm thoroughly impressed so if I ever have the chance to get my hands on one I very well may do that love all the detailing in it it's a it's a cool rig this guitar to me is a prime example of the experimental innovative nature of Godin they are always looking for interesting things to try on guitars and unlike a lot of other companies when they come up with those things they actually put them on a guitar and put them out there so that we can see what they're doing and sometimes the things they do are really cool and we get to um, have that we get to have that advantage and and use it so I'll plug it in, give you a couple sounds, hope you like it, and thanks for watching. Thank you.